Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name's Paula. So today's sequence is pretty short. We're just going to refresh the upper body. Uh, we'll do most of it sitting, some of it will be down on our belly. So make yourself comfortable and let's make a start. We're going to start in a comfortable cross-legged position and let's have the right leg in front to begin with. Resting the hands down onto the legs, closing down the eyes when you're ready. And if sitting in this cross-legged position is uncomfortable for any reason, please feel free to sit on a blanket or a cushion, anything that just lifts up your hips a little bit. And starting to tune into your breathing. Just noticing where your breath's at right now, just without changing anything to begin. And then starting to gently lengthen the inhale and slow down the exhale. Let's do that a few more times, slowing down the inhale and slowing down the exhale. One more time like that. You can stay with the breathing, continuing to extend into that breath or just allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. And then let's gently open up the eyes. Take the hands back behind you and just be up on the fingertips here. Try to lift that sternum up, draw the tips of the shoulders away and then start to lift the eyes up towards the ceiling. Taking that breath into the upper body, just across the collarbones. and then returning the eyes and the chest back to center. Take the right hand away from the hips and place the hand down. Extend that left arm up and over, coming into your side bend, press down through that left sitting bone. And we're gonna take an inhale to come back up through center, place that left hand down, right arm up and over, dropping the left shoulder away from the ear. And then inhale, coming up through center, right hand down, left arm up and over. And again, inhale through center, Exhale, left hand down, right hand up and over. And then one more time, inhale, coming over to the right and then let's hold over to the right now. Dropping that right shoulder away from the ear, left fingertips reaching out. And you may be on the hand or you might uh, be a little bit higher up. Just make sure that you're not crowding the right, uh, the right ear or for some of you maybe even down the forearm, it's, this is not super important. And then let's take this left arm back behind the body, reaching the left fingers over to the right side waist and then turning the eyes to look down towards the mat without rolling that left shoulder forward. Keep pressing down for that left sitting bone and draw the tip of the left shoulder away from the ear you might increase that sensation by tucking the chin in very slightly. And then turn the head back to center, extend that left arm back up and over, taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, coming back upright. Let's take a twist taking that left hand or back of the left hand to the outside of the right thigh, right hand behind you and turning to the right, just allowing the eyes to trace towards the back there without overstraining the neck. The left side of the body gently turning to the right, taking one more inhale, growing up out of the waist as you exhale, seeing if there's any more space and then inhale, 
coming back to center. Place the back of the right hand to the right side of the waist. So we're coming into this broken wing pose here and then taking the left hand to gently draw the right elbow in without turning the shoulders. Keep both shoulders pointing forward. They're really targeting just the outer part of the, the shoulder, the deltoid here. Just feeling free to close the eyes. Just feeling into the body sensations and noticing if there's any space to soften, particularly on the exhale. And that softening might be happening in uh, the shoulder area, or it could be somewhere else, maybe the neck or the face. Just letting go of any, any holding. Just one more full breath. Maybe there's a little bit more space to bring that elbow in. Just being very gentle though. And then opening up the eyes to gently release that right arm. And then we're going to take a reverse prayer behind the back. If you can't come, so it's just really just this position behind the back. If you can't take a reverse prayer, just hold your wrists or your forearms or your elbows. If you've got your reverse prayer, you might be able to try to creep the hands a little bit higher up in between the shoulder blades and then try to press the inner edges or the outside edges, sorry, that's furthest away from the back together. So the elbows press back, but these lower ribs want to press out, draw them in, the crown of the head reaching up. And once again, feeling free to close down the eyes if that's comfortable and tuning into the body sensations. Deep, easy breaths. And then gently releasing those hands behind, fingertips by your side, inhale to grow up, opening those eyes if they're not already there. And then exhale to walk your hands forward. And you can place the hands flat and you can be active through the arms or just be really relaxed, just your choice. And then starting to walk the hands back upright and let's change the legs around. So we're going to take that left leg in front now, taking the fingertips behind you. Just for a breath, let's lift the chest up, tips of the shoulders press back, lifting the eyes, inhale, and then exhale, coming back upright. Take the left hand away from the left hip, right arm comes up and over, drop that left shoulder down, taking uh, and exhale here and then inhale as you come through center and then exhale to go over to the right and then inhale through center, exhaling back down to the left and inhale back up through center, exhale to the right and inhale through center. And this time let's hold it over to the left, right arm up and over, press down through that right sitting bone, left shoulder away from the ear just keeping the breathing nice and easy. And wrapping the right arm behind the back now, trying to reach the right fingers to the left side waist, turning the head to look down towards the mat, drawing the tip of the right shoulder away from the right ear. Maybe tucking the chin in very slightly to increase that stretch across the neck into the shoulder, upper trapezius. And turn the eyes to look back forward, 
right arm comes up and over and inhale coming back up to center as you exhale take a twist to your left back of the right hand to the outside of the left thigh left hand behind you keeping that right sitting bone grounding down as you turn the upper body and letting the eyes just travel back to where it feels comfortable enough no overstraining with the neck taking one more inhale grow up out of the waist as you exhale just notice if there's any more space and then inhale coming back to center taking the back of the left hand placing it into the side of the waist and then using that right hand just to help draw draw it in and then eyes can just close down or just gazing softly down a bit further in front of you just listening in for any little pockets of space that might start to open up. One more full breath. And gently releasing that. Just opening up the eyes for a moment. Taking your reverse prayer once again, if you can, or taking hold of the wrists or forearms or the elbows. Maybe you've got a little bit more space to creep up a bit higher. Sealing the palms and hands together as much as you can. And if you'd like to, closing down the eyes. Letting go of any unnecessary effort here. Just releasing the muscles of the face. And then gently releasing those hands Hands beside you for a moment, taking an inhale to grow up and then exhale, walking your hands forward. Just remember your choice, either relaxing the arms or keeping them long. And then let's walk the hands back upright. Coming over the legs onto all fours. And setting up the knees underneath the hips. And then starting to walk the hands away from you. So we're coming into our happy puppy pose here. Forehead down. Pressing down through the tops of the feet and the shins. Thinking about those armpits. Just wrapping in to face one another or coming into that direction. Just finding the breath. And as we stay here, you might find that a little bit more space that's open up and you might even be able to bring the chin and the chest down towards the mat. Just do what feels right. You can have the eyes closed. One more full breath. And then start to shift the weight all the way forward onto the belly. So we're going to come all the way down. And for a moment, find your Sphinx pose and we're going to move into our supine broken wings. We're going to take that right arm out to the side, turn the head to look to the left. 
and without drawing that elbow in as you roll over onto the side, roll over onto the right side of the body and you might just keep the knees bent here or if you can, you might take that left foot and just take it behind you, just resting down onto the ball or the sole of that left foot, feeling free to close the eyes. Taking the breath into that right upper chest. Noticing if there's any softening that can happen, particularly on the exhale. If you don't need this left hand down on the ground, you could wrap it behind the back. And then let's release that back hand come over onto the belly taking those arms into your sphinx pose for a moment just so we can swap it around and take that left arm out turning the head to look over to the right using that right hand helping yourself roll over onto the left side of the body the right foot can come behind or you can just keep the knees bent in front of you feeling free to close the eyes just relaxing that front arm or the elbow down if you don't need it for support, you can wrap the right arm behind you. One more full breath here. Just releasing that back arm, rolling yourself over onto the belly. Hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself back into your child's pose. Either knees together or knees wide, your choice. And if it's comfortable to do so, you've got your knees together, you could place the arms down. Uh, pointing back, palms facing up. It's really allowing the upper body to just curve down. Closing the eyes. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders. Coming up to a seated position, and just sitting over to one side, making your way down onto your back for your Shavasana. When you're ready, extending the legs long, letting the feet fall away from one another, arms a bit away from the body, palms facing up. And with each exhale, just allowing the body to get a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Just noticing the back surface of the body in contact with the mat. It's the back of the head, the upper body and the backs of the arms and hands middle back, back of the pelvis, south sides of the legs or outer shins, heels, so with each exhale allowing those points of contact to get a little bit heavier and hinging the jaw Just allowing yourself to rest here.
please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.